It's Gene! Oh, hey, welcome back. Boy, am I glad you guys are here. Oh, hey, welcome back. Boy, boy, but I'm glad you guys are here. Karn has been away, so the board's covered with jobs. Job style. You guys have your work cut out for you. Geared up and ready to go, I hope. <laughs> Sending us out already. Oh, I think I can guess the reason for his eagerness. So, zero taskmaster. So, oh, taskmaster, I take it you have some urgent jobs for us. Surprisingly not, actually. We're snowed under with work in general, but none of it is particularly urgent. I mean, the election's being held under the eyes of the military anyway. The town's so busy boiling over from the election that the tourists have stayed away a bit. Whoa, the election's gotten that hot? ELECTION! Who's running? We haven't heard. Mr. Norman, who, who is a proponent of the tourism industry, and Mr. Portos, who wants to try and revive the harbors and shipping business. Remember, this is a big deal. The mayor of Ruin is also the governor of the entire region. People in Minoria and elsewhere are voting too. It's been a real media circus. This election is basically going to decide the future of Ruin. It's exciting. So exciting. I, I, I heard Stephen Hasty's excited. I get it now. That is big. Well, given that I'm underage and not a citizen of Ruin, I guess I can't vote. That's too bad. Vote or die style. Gotta admit though, since I uh, basically helped cause this, I'm sort of curious to see where it goes. Oh. Then read the coverage from the Liberal News. Their investigative articles are excellent. Aren't they though? This is so bad. Investigation? Wait, that reminds me. That fire stick has a huge erection. That fire stick has a huge election. <laughs> Classic. There is actually a job I'd like for you to focus on. It isn't urgent, but it's something that needs looking into. Oh? Well, what's up? Uh, well... Uh, how do I put this? It's hard to explain. Maybe I shouldn't have... Jean? Unsure? Hold the presses. I, th I think we're witnessing a miracle. A, a, a miracle? Usually you'll happily pile the work on a brace until they sink into the ground from the weight of it all. Aw, oh, sure, I'm not that bad. Come on. Well, alright. Here it is. I want you to investigate ghost sightings. Ghost? What the beep? You mean you mean the energy drink? See, I knew you were gonna look at me like that. This is why I didn't want to bring it up. N no, sorry. I'm just in a bit of, um, a surprise is all. So, uh, what exactly do you mean by ghost sightings? Okay, so, it began about two weeks ago. Maybe, maybe you should call the Ghostbusters. Might be a good idea. We've been receiving reports that people have been seeing a white shadow at night. And not just in the city of Ruin, mind you. 
Reports have come in from all across the province. They saw a white shadow at night? Wait, you mean... Ah, so that's why you called it a ghost then. If it's just a prank or something, you wouldn't be hearing about it province-wide. Just a prank from a couple of smart guys. Exactly. I have dismissed one sighting, but with all the reports we've gotten... One time when a commercial skipped so bad it said, Pick up two bags of Miracle Pot on sale today. Oh shit! <laughs> While you're traveling around working on the other jobs, do you think you could follow up on a few of the reports? You could masturbate on, e on everything in the store, e even wholesale items. Er, uh, well, you see, um, it'd be irresponsible of us to take such a, take on such a job with so much else going on. Yeah, that's it. Estelle, are you... What? No, 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 not at all. Oh! You think Estelle the Coopbreaker... Hero of Libero would be afraid of ghosts? No way, no how. No. Sorry, I am afraid of ghosts. A little. Heh. <laughs> More than a little from the looks of it. Well, don't worry. Nobody's been hurt or anything, and it isn't urgent. We'll just pretend this conversation didn't... Jean, wait. Estelle, don't you think we should take this job? Don't you worry, your big sister will make it all better. Big sister style, even. Besides, investigating this could prove useful to our, uh, actual mission. It's true. Huh? Remember, Estelle, our true purpose is investigating the movements of the society throughout the world. And that involves keeping an eye out for anything even remotely suspicious. Sounds a little bit like a ghost hunt to me, wouldn't you agree? Ah, yeah, when you put it like that, it makes sense. Sorry, Shira, I, I, I was being childish. Gene, we'll, we'll investigate those sightings and get to the bottom of them, I promise. Glad to hear it. Anyway, I've got three sightings in particular that I think bear looking into. The first one is... The first one is a report from a guard at Airlet. Apparently he saw something during a night patrol that spooked the heck out of him. Okay, not scared, not scared. The second one I know of was a sighting by a member of the Ravens. Oh boy. The Ravens? That's the local doc docs gang, right? Hmm. Hopefully we can get them to cooperate. I don't think that'll actually be as big of a problem as you think. They seem kind of different during the tournament and grand sale, you know? Tournament style. Really? You'd have to fill me in on the way. Well, sounds like you'll make it work. Anyway, the last report is from one of the children at the Mercia Orphanage. Wait, one of the orphanage kids? Yes, Matron Teresa contacted us on her behalf. Oh right, I guess you wouldn't know. Reconstruction of the orphanage finished not too long ago. Oh yeah? Cool! According to Matron Teresa, it's more or less exactly as it once was. It is? That's a relief. I wanted to go say hi to Matron Teresa and the kids anyway. I'll ask about the thingy siding when I go congratulate them over the new orphanage building. And that's it. That's it! I've come up with a new recipe. Remember, though, this really isn't urgent, so you can put it off for a bit if something else comes up. The rest of the jobs are on the board, so make sure to check it. 
jobs, brace requests which you may choose to accept or ignore, are posted to the board in each guild house. If you approach the board and press the confirm prompt when the exclamation point mark appears, you can see the full list. Like we don't know how that works. Come on, man. Select a job to see the details on it, such as the objective and potential rewards. These details will automatically be recorded in your note in your, in your notebook. Once you've heard what all three witnesses have to say, come back here. We'll go over all the testimonies and take a stab at figuring this mess out. Understood. The Ravens hang out right here in the city, in the warehouse district. We might check with them first. Well then, let's stop by the warehouse district before we leave town. That's across the bridge, I believe. Bridge style. First, I'd like you to check up on three eyewitness reports, compile your findings, and come report to me. Not an urgent job, so you can put it off till later if you need to. Good luck! Thanks, General Pepper. There's a map! So we got four quests here. Um, Ingredient Hunters. Of course, it's from Orvid. 1500 Mira, d difficulty easy. Looking for someone to help me complete a list of ingredients found in the Ruin region. Easy, fun job to do in your spare time. Interested persons are to come to Minoria Village. A representative of our firm will wait on the second floor of the White Magnolia. Higher experience not required. Saffron Tower photo. The History Museum. 2000 Mira, difficulty medium. This is a job to take a photograph at the Saffron Tower. Necessary equipment will be provided. Details for the job will be provided by a research staff member. He's staying at the Hotel Blanche, room 101. Vista Forest Road Monster. Bracer Guild, 1500 Mirror Difficulty Easy. A dangerous monster, Mercury Viper, has been sighted along the Vista Forest Road. Bracers affiliated with this branch are asked to respond immediately to this threat. Items of note. Monster specialized in poison attacks. Respond to monster equipped with anti-venom gear, which we already have, so... And Goal Seaside Way Monster. Racer Gale, 2500 Mira, difficulty easy. A dangerous monster, Cobalt Saber, has been sighted on the Goal Seaside Way. Bracers affiliated with this branch are asked to respond immediately to this threat. Items of note. Monster has extremely high physical defense. Be prepared with offensive arts. Good times. Good times indeed. Do do. It's Melvin, who's still a Melvin, by the way. Ah, Estelle. It's been a while. Remember me, I'm Melvin, the, the Junior Bracer here. Congratulations on your promotion. I'll do my best to keep up with you. Honestly, I'm absolutely drowning in work without Karna around. Shirazard, good luck to you too. So yeah, there's an easy to miss book here. Basically, you just gotta go to the casino. And you can either, and you need to trade medals for it. So you can either just buy the medals or play until you have enough. Either way. But you want to make sure you get that before you advance the Plotty McPlotterson. Shut up, sir. So we want to do our rounds as usual. I wonder what meaning names have to people. I am myself, and yet... Why must we use words to create another self, I wonder? Indeed. Joan Arms and Guards. Do -do 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 -do. Eva. Oh, welcome. Two bracers together, huh? Karna's not here right now. But but if you leave a message with your name and number, sh 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 at, and leave a message at the beep. Beep! So I hope you guys will do your best. Okay. We got a new weapon for Estelle, the Fiber Rod. A staff made of bark fibers woven in a special manner. 
the Claymore, which is basically here if you have, uh, what's, what's his face, Agate. A two-handed sword with a sturdy cross guard, large but sharp. Very sharp. Phantom, a Reinford Company Orbital Gun with superior silencing. We'll get that j j just to get that. Of course, you, you want to get a fiber vest and metal spikes for Estelle. Get a pearl earring. An earring with a precious pearl imported from the east. A feather brooch. A brooch featuring a vivid blue, f blue feather prevents faint. Both are good to have. Do, 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 do. Fiber rod. Attack up by 10. Fiber vest. Metal spizikes. We can give you front seal. Prevent Spain. Sure, why not? It's a good point. Good times. Ba 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 Home, home on the range. CL. Me and my husband both work as tour guides. During the election, there haven't been many tourists, so I'm off from my work as a guide. My husband's been supporting his candidate in the election, I believe, but I'm taking it easy at home. Take it easy. Do 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 do. -do. Liz. Really, the election campaigners are so loud. How's my son supposed to study like this? What a, what a bunch of rude little bastages. I'll tell you what. Antonio! My dream is to be part of the crew for an airship. If I can join the Royal Academy's natural science courses, I'll be one step closer to that dream. Also one step closer to the edge. And you're about to break. That's how it is, man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There's a fishing spot. Do, 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 do. I don't think we can use it though. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't think you you can use it right now, though. For whatever reason. Renzo! Norman's a great guy, but I just can't accept his campaign platform. Ruining a tourism town, it's a town of sailors and fishers. I wish people would get that. Well, wow. that's a fine how do you do? Father Theodore. It's fine to get excited about an election, but I wish they'd stop making so much noise. Ruin, as you can see, is a city built by men of the sea, after all. It's a land with some very excitable people. One way of putting it. Sister Frida. The election activities can be heard even from here. It is frustrating, I admit. Almost seems to disrupt the peace of those who, who come to pray. How evil. People are just trying to pray. Come on. Be cool. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Vote for Norman, says Hirio. Mayoral candidate Norman, please. Vote for Norman. Norman for mayor. Tell me what to do. O'Neill Duty Free Shop. The city's worked up over the election, but even the word election calls up a lot of different images. For example, the borough's mayoral election system is based heavily off of the republics. The people of that country come from all over. 
so they needed a fair and equal way to decide things. Cool. Incidentally, in the world there are countries that, unlike us, decide on who they don't like instead. Apparently there are unpop- Apparently there the unpopular person with the most votes is kicked off of the council. That's fun. That might be a reasonable system in its own way. <laughs> so you can buy the the newspaper here if if you didn't buy it before. There's also ingredients here. Da -da 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 -da. You can buy cat foot slippers if you want. Fanciful shoes with rubber balled soles that mimic cat paws. Defense up by one, move up by two, agility up by two, and question mark. Whatever the question mark means, I don't know, but we'll get one just to have them. Just to have them. Just to have them. You know, because Lancer likes to have a full inventory. It's just the way it is. Can't do nothing about it, man. You doing, sir? It's hard! Of course, this is the guy that we uh, escorted through Crone Pass in the first game. Hmm, what a lovely view. I'm a merchant from Bose scouting out new tourist attractions. The real draw of this city is the harbor, after all. I think development of the South Block will be crucial to their future. You say so, man. Rowan. It's Edwin. Edwin McCain. <laughs> Lately I've been kind of without much to do. One time on a smart guy, sh showed up on a ballot as a member of the Vote Here Party. <laughs> Seems like tourists avoid the place during an election. Election? Like that time Barn held an election and nobody voted for him. It's Clive! Samario, so you check the guidance lights. Where's Todd? I had Todd che check the docking equipment. I see. Well then, we can leave that to him. We don't have much time, but but be thorough. Sorry, we're in the middle of work stuff. Okay. You say so, dude. It's Todd! Orbital mechanism lock checked. Yep. No problems. Looks like. Cool. Bum-bum-bum-bum. <laughs> the door is locked, and we don't have the big key to open it. Sucks, man. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The door is locked. The door is locked. Alright. Moving right along. Belper Norman. Lakeisha. The view of white buildings framed by the blue sea is beautiful. But those election voices are spoiling it. That's too bad. It's totally ruining the atmosphere. Ah, uh, oh well. Nothing for it, I guess. Oh, what an amazing bridge. I'd love to see it in motion sometime. The commotion of the ocean. I think it's casino time. That's what I think. It's Primo! Do you know Dean? He's my younger brother, and one of those raven punks down at the harbor. Apparently he and his friends participated in the martial arts competition this year. But just when I thought he was going to try and make something of himself, he's back to being lazy as ever. That's too bad. It's so frustrating. Well, why doesn't he have the motivation to change? Change in the House of Flies, even. 
Thank you. Azalea Kiss, which is a new recipe. Azalea Kiss, Azalea Kiss. Do 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 do. Azalea Kiss. Takes vintage wine, five azalea fruit, two maple sugar, and a savory pinion. A cocktail with a lip tingling hint of azalea. Heals 1500 HP and cures KO. I guess we'll make one. He looks like a Bloody Mary. Meh. Azalea kiss. Nobody's out here. But it... Meh. It's the casino! Fun fact, the, the, this is where we streamed poker. Trying to get four of a kind. One time when Barn ran as morning disc jockey against Mitch, when Barn promised a bunch of company cars for every listener, and stuff like that when Mitch said that won't work, when Barn said that once elected, Barn, d Barn d doesn't have to deliver. <laughs> A true politician. Latelio, I just joined this place actually. It's super mega relaxing here. Where else can I earn some Mira and have and have fun while I'm at it? Bum, bum, bum. So you can buy medals. Five Mira per medal. As for prizes, you you want to make sure you. You, 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 you get Gambler Jack Volume 2 at, at this point. Because it, it becomes unavailable once you advance the plot, I believe. Exchange. Bum, 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 bum. So we'll just go ahead and get it real quick. Gambler Jack Volume 2. You can play for it if you want, but it's easier to, just to go ahead and do it with money, assuming you have it. Gambler Jack Volume 2, Chapter 2, The Offer. Volume 2 of a mainstream fiction novel published in Liberal. The girl strode into the bar and closed the door without turning a ridge. There was no hesitation in her manner. It seemed her arrival was no accident. Her face was determined but her confident entrance couldn't erase the lingering innocence of youth there. Even the best liar would try and claim she was more than 18. Dark brown eyes and hair suggested she was Eastern, but her nose and features made it hard to be sure. The girl slowly walked forward. With each step, her cute little knees peeked out from under the trim cut of her skirt. Her outfit was a design without any sense of decoration. It seemed her taste lay more along the lines of utility than style. One bit when Mitch made Barn, when Mitch made Barn his vice morning disc jockey and told Barn to go to a disc club's location. <laughs> 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 Maybe because of that, the eastern symbol necklace on her chest couldn't help but look equally unremarkable. The lack of volume in that area probably had something to do with that as well. It seemed like it'd still be some time before she really bloomed. An appearance bearing the signs of east and west both, and simple un unembellished clothes, the girl might have been the spirit of the eastern quarter made flesh. She caught the eye of one of the punks hanging about almost instantly. Hey, little girly, he slurred. Wanna have some fun with me? As he spoke, he grabbed the girl's wrist with one greasy hand. It happened in an instant. Her arm flew up, dislodging the punk's grip. Now freed, her hand disappeared deep into her skirt and then slid out with a massive gleaming black iron. She pressed it to the space between his eyes. He stared at the object for a moment before collapsing to his knees in fear. It was an orbital gun of cunning make, 
A high-caliber Vern Company model. If she'd shot that firearm, the punk would have lost his head instead of his bladder. Not quite losing your lunch, but, but you never know. It was not your average self-defense weapon. It's the latest model, she purred. Want to see what it can do? She was cool and calm. The barrel of the gun didn't waver a bit. If she fired, her aim would be perfect. Overwhelmed by the girl, gun, or both, the punk couldn't move a muscle. Everyone else in the bar remained frozen as well. All eyes were on the girl. Hey, miss, hate to ask, but could you let him off with that? Maybe the speaker couldn't stand it anymore, or perhaps it was disturbing his drink. But the husky, sensual voice broke through the silence. It was Jack. Still planted firmly in his chair, breath smelling of liquor, he continued. I'm sure he's very sorry, and he's learned his lesson. He shot the punk a meaningful look. As if in answer to it, the punk started nodding his head vigorously. I've come here to gamble, the girl said suddenly. She slowly lowered the gun in her left hand. Her expression remained cool and detached. Sounds good. Come over here. Give me everything you got. Jack's words had an immediate impact. Not on the girl, but... But on the gathered goons and hoods. They all shared a glance, each and every one of them. The dirtiest grin you could imagine. And that completes volume two. Alrighty then. Guess I'm at a little play some shenanigans here. What do we got here? It's Alund. Man, these slots are old and rickety as all hell. They're not nearly as nice as the modern ones. Which is totally why I lost, yeah. Play one slot medals. There's also ten slot medals. Oh, we actually have a bunch of medals, I just realized. Over 300,000 from my first playthrough. Ooh, we won some medals. Slot style. I guess we didn't even need to buy those. Woo! Ooh. Metals! Slot style. Cherries! We won 60 medals there! We're like winning a bunch of stuff even though we don't really really need to win anything. But we're doing it anyway because we rock. 10 medals. Even though we bet 50, but... But but I digress. Oh, we, we, we almost got three bells! <laughs> Two cherries and a bell. Which gives us 20. Fun. Alright. Poker. Another blackjack. And then this guy's just a pool expert. You can play roulette. Spirit on. Welcome to my establishment, Lavatar Casino and Bar. There are times in life when one is forced to make decisions without the help of logic. However, Adios Ever Merciful has granted humanity a gift to trump each trying moment. I speak of intuition, of course. Just with choices in life, there is no logic behind winning and losing and gambling. But once you've learned to sense the danger intuitively, that, friend, is when you've captured the, sp the true spirit of gambling. Uh, we're gonna play roulette. Alright. So we're gonna win, like, no matter what we do, basically. <laughs> Dart! <laughs> Red! 
Red nine. We most impressive. Yay, victorious. Let's do one day ten. Meh, <laughs> roulette style. Red 19! I lost! I suck. I'm a horrible person. Casino style. And we got... Black 11! I lost again. I suck! Let's try one more. Let's go odds. Black 17! There you go. It is Black 17! Most impressive! We won! Alright, we'll do one more. Go with the reds. Meh. Oh, Black 29, you can kiss my ass, sir. Okay. We're good. Let's try some poker. Fuego. Which means fire. Welcome to a world of chance. A world where, for a lucky few, a single game of cards could change their destiny. I shall be your match. So, of course, there is an achievement for, for getting four of a kind, which we already got. Way, way back when. So, we're just going to play for fun, basically. You can bet up to ten medals. You know, because they don't want you to win, win, win too much at once. Okay, do 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 do. Wow, we don't really have much of anything, do we? We'll hold those. Meh. We got two queens! A pair of queens, even! One pair, you're going to keep going, right? Do 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 do! We got a jack! Um, I guess we'll hold these. Why not? Maybe we can get... No pair! That's your loss! You lose. Yeah, four of a kind is incredibly rare. It also multiple multiplies your bet by 50, so you can definitely get some good good winnings from that. If you manage to get it, which good luck with that. <laughs> ah, I'm getting like nothing. What in the world? Oh, a pair of tens. That's something, I guess. Oh, if only we would have gotten a jack. Doesn't really give you much winnings, but better than nothing. We got a pair of fives! Definitely want to hold on to those bad Johnnies. A pair of fives. One pair! Oh, that's something. Stephen Hasty style, even. Ooh, a, a pair of aces! You gotta appreciate that. And a pair of eights! We, we got two pairs! We are so cool! You have two pairs. Which mul multiplies your bet by three! Do -do 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 -do. Keep going! A pair of twos! I'll take that, sir. Three of a kind! Not, not more of a kind, but the three of a kind, which is pretty rare itself. Multiplies your bet by four. 
I just lost everything. Boo! You suck! All those winnings go bye bye. Alright, and finally, some. We're gonna play some Blackjack, of course. Lancer's game of choice. Gunter! Hey, welcome! You can play Blackjack here at this table. It's one of the few games where you're practically guaranteed to make a little mirror. So long as you play your cards right, literally. Sit back, relax, and have some fun! Blackjack style. Blackjack mulligan. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, please play show bet. At, 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 at least here you could bet up to a hundred. Nine! 18, I think we'll stand there. It's a draw! God damn it! You're a jerk, sir. 14. Surrender. 21! Yeah! Win! You can't beat Lancer at Blackjack. Come on, people. What do you think this is? Ten... Twenty! We'll stand. Ha! You just happened to get twenty. Come on, dude. That's not even... That's not even fair. Thirteen... Nineteen! We'll stand. You busted. Winner! I got a king to start with. That's exciting. Fourteen. Bum, 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 bum. Do I dare? Oh! Just one too high. Just one too high. Thirteen. Let's double down. Why not? Twenty-one! Ho ho ho! I got double my winnings. I took a risk and it paid off! How cool am I? Do do do! Twenty! I shall stun. Hey, <laughs> you busted. We're winning! You can't beat the Lancer and Blackjack, sir. Can't do it. Not today. Not ever. Twelve? I think so. Twenty! I shall stun. Winner! I've got a winning streak going! Didn't you know? Let it ride. Twelve. Oh, son of a! I need to, to redeem myself from that. Thirteen. One time when a smart guy caused a major incident, when a smart guy used a whole oh 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 a bit of a a hotel room to attack concert goers. <laughs> I got blackjack. That's something that shouldn't be funny, but it is. Yay! Victorious! Let it ride, sir. But a nine? Who gets nine? We're, we're, we're gonna have to double down here. Yeah, nineteen. Oh, draw! Come on! 
You just happened to get 19, didn't you? That's such a bunch of garbage. That's garbage! There's no reason for that! I'm gonna double down again. And I... I flew too close to the sun on the wings of pastrami. Ten. Twenty! I'll take it! I could have surrendered like a pool expert. Yeah, win! We're winning! Not much, but but we're still winning, so that's all that matters, right? Nineteen! Winner! We got another winning streak going, ladies and gentlemen of the self-opposed jury. Six? Who gets a six? That's dumb. Eleven! We can do better than that. Double down! Fifteen! I cannot believe I won that! They got so unlucky by... by... by drawing a queen. Good lord! Like, that was their match to win, and I... They just royally screwed themselves over. Stephen Hasty gets better hand. Lancer still wins based on blackjack technicality. Didn't you know? Twenty-four. Why are you still drawing? We both lost that one. Five. Eleven. We can do better than that. Eighteen. You'd have to be foolish to hit there. Oh, he got a 19. What a jerk. Hey, I freaking hate this dealer. He's pissing me off right now. I'll tell you what. 20! There you go. He got Blackjack! What a whore! I hate this guy. He's such a little casino cheat. He's probably spilling coffee on casino goers. What a bastard. You! Bully! Fourteen. Double down! Seventeen. Okay, that's... Once again, I can't believe I won that. Unbelievable. Whew. We'll go one more. Probably gonna keep saying that, but I digress. Sixteen. Do, do I dare? Hey, hey, am I feeling lucky? Not really, but we're, we're, we're gonna go for it anyway. In fact, I'm gonna double down. Ah! Oh, a stupid Jack! Jack came up to punch me in the wiener. That's what happened there. Jack screwed me. Seventeen... I'm going one more, I don't care. Ah! Six! Why couldn't I have I gotten a six instead of a three? Come on, man! Work with me, huh? Freaking starting out with a king. Three, that's... Uh, that's not gonna work for me, brother. Twenty, stupid queen! S.O.B., man. Why couldn't I have gotten the queen instead of the three? That would have been perfect. Perfect! Five. Thirteen. Eighteen. I'm gonna have to stick with that. Yeah! I won with eighteen. When Siegfried and Royce substitute audition, when Dennis Miller said, Take this from the word of Archimedes, never hit on sixteen. <laughs> Dennis Miller style. Thirteen. Ah! Stupid, stupid king! The king came, came up and freaking stole my debit card. That's what happened. Twelve. Nineteen, I'll take that. Draw! What the frig? You don't hit on 19, like, ever. That's just not a... That's just not a smart thing to do. That's not a wise decision at all. It's really not. 16. 
Sorry, Dennis, but I'm going for it. Ha! Ah! Suck it, Dennis Miller! It's what you get. You were wrong about that, sir. <laughs> okay. Bum, 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 eight. Yeah, let's stay with eight. That's gonna work. Twenty-one! Perfect. Okay. I think we're gonna end that on a good note. Huh. Good times. But we can get the other stuff that we... That we don't have. We can get a white bracelet. A bangle that emits pure white light to, to prevent blindness. Prevents blind! And we can get a long barrel. Increase the firing range of guns, cannons, and crossbows. Range up by two. We don't have anyone that can use that yet, but I'm sure we'll get them. Also, you can get some new recipes with these attack items. Perilous V-Ball and Rainbow Surprise. Rainbow Surprise. Perilous V-Ball takes one marbled steak. Two kibbled salt, two black pepper, two red pepper, leathery tail, and beast flesh. Um, a meatball so spicy, one bite will make you breathe fire. <laughs> its attack is strength 600 and rainbow surprise. Three takes three firefly fungus, maple sugar, lucky fang, and two clear gelatins. Mysterious lights, mysterious effects, strength 700, random status. So that's a fun little dealio. Okay. Good times. One time when Barn was talking about Dennis Miller's show on CNN BCBS, when Bart Bart Barn started making a bunch of obscure pop culture references, Barn had problems. Coming up with when Barn messed them up. <laughs> Do. Fun fact: Lancer's ne never actually been to a casino, which is sad. But that's how it goes sometimes. Newly open after renovations, thrills and excitement await. Lavantar Casino and Bar. Okay. I don't know. Alright, I'll be right back. <laughs> 